brief you go what's up what's happening uh, my name is Pang Isaac and today I'll show you how to make v60 at home using simple techniques so the four things you need to start to make your pour overs are scale coffee filters and kettle so you need a v60 filter this is what you need some cafe and then kettle and a scale those are the four things you basically need to start brewing your coffee so let's get into it let me show you simple way and it's easy for you to actually start brewing very very simple so people think you need like a whole system and equipment to brew really you just need hot water and just the basic stuff that I told you coffee scale filters and kettle so I have a scale and <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> it's not corona um basically when i get a filter you, i think you get 100 100 in a pack so they last you quite long i basically take it and then i fold this baby just like that if you can see i fold it just like that and i open this in in half like a little funnel that's all I do. <clears throat> That's all I do, to be honest. And then I take hot water and pour it in. Basically, that it's basically two birds with one stone. It helps me clean the paper filter because when the, the manufacturer, when it comes to manufacturing, it smells very papery. So you can smell this is from like when the manufacturer and that's gonna help me clean up the paper filter and warm up my server two beds one stone this is why I first preheat the vessel and clean when I'm done I just this is what I do throw this guy away oh that sounds nice <laughs> sorry guys so, and then back to ice tier so what, what I'm doing right now here it's um 18.5 18 grams of coffee to 2 or 40 water. So the ratio is 1 to 13. Whereas the Tyrosity, a recipe that I've, I've been using for a long time and it works out. And some people use 20 grams, uh, some people use 18. And different coffee shops and different places will have different recipes. So just look, look out for recipes and try out what works for you, what works and what does not work. And then basically, I already, because I don't have a grinder. I mean, I have a grinder, but <coughs> excuse that, excuse me. But the grinder is not, as you can see in the back, it's not very consistent uh, grind. So at home we have, um, at, at work we have an EK. So I use that to grind, and it's like I ground this yesterday, two days ago, yeah, two days ago I ground this. Um, so just give me a second. So what we're doing here is. 18 grams, 18.5 grams of coffee. Oops, it's tricky as a thing about. <coughs> oh, that's bad, excuse me. <coughs> Chair the scale, and then, because I have coffee and even. So what I do, I basically hold hold onto the coffee uh, V60, and then tap. You basically tap tap, and then what you're doing, you try, you're trying to get an even bed, a consistent even bed. That's gonna help you have an even extraction because you don't want the coffee to be on the sides. You you don't want it to be on the bottom or skew. You have to have an even bed. So when you start pouring water, all the coffee basically gets saturated, and all the flavors are getting extracted at the same time. You know, you, what you're trying to do is having consistent. So we have a scale, we have a coffee, good grinder. Most of the coffee shops should be able to grind for you, your coffee. And so when that is you then start pouring. So the way I will pour will be 18.5 grams of coffee to 240 water, uh, 1 to 13 ratio. So I'll do this, I'll start a timer, start a timer. I don't, it probably, let me see, let me actually start a timer for you. Um, sorry about that. Start a timer. So then I put 40 grams. 
40 grams. This is called the blooming phase, where your coffee and your water and coffee actually intact so to one another. So basically you're having you making sure that all the coffee around it gets it's getting saturated. So for 30 seconds it's a blooming phase you wait and then you for 30 seconds then once you the blooming phase is done it's a really important phase you want you don't want to rush the process you want to first bloom then you can pour so now I'll do 40 I'll do 80 80 point circle and very slowly I'm not rushing anyway 80 again I don't pour to the top of, to the point where it's too full or no I, I try to pour 40 40 for in increments so that having a consistent flow otherwise if I pour too much lots of the coffees and get stuck on the wall when it gets stuck on the wall those coffees does not get extracted so what I'm trying to do here is to have an even bed as consistent as I can to 120 now Because you trying to what you're trying to do here the whole time is to be consistent. So if anything happens now, if I don't it taste the coffee tastes funny, I, I exactly know what the problem is. You know, I'll basically go back and say, okay, my ground setting was fine, uh, my time was fine, and my was was my water cold? Was it? You know, you basically can uh, process of elimination. You can, you can easily detect what what are the problem, but just to, again. 120 I'm doing it to 160 and again it's a process of like you don't you don't want it to get dry you don't want it to be too full you want to have like one comes in one batch second batch it's a consistent flow of increments so I'm just now I'm at two minutes 10 seconds see so again the whole thing is to be consistent and my kettle is I preheat my kettle so the water inside is quite hot actually it's not as cold that you think um, probably sits at, at 85 89 if I'm not mistaken and now it's 200 sorry I'm basically monitoring how much I'm pouring because I don't want to overdo it because I don't want to overflow I want to keep the bed as even as possible that's what I'm talking about. I promise you, it's so noisy. It's fine. Normally it's supposed to be quarantine time and everybody should be at home, but clearly lots of people are walking on the streets. And what can I say? I have no clue. No clue at all why it's not happening. People are just bored after a month of staying indoors. They just want to get out and just like, I want to some free time. I want to stretch my legs. So, and then this is the last pour. Two, bingo. That's basically it. And then when this process is done, <laughs> my people, my beautiful people, you enjoy your coffee to the max. You enjoy this coffee. So that's basically, you want to have four things. Coffee, filter, scale, and kettle. And then, you just start brewing you know you need to have a, you need to have a scale i think it's just like i guess it's like the cheapest scale you could find i don't have the best scale in the world but it does the job and i use my phone as a timer so again everyone has a phone so they can there's no excuse you, you don't have a timer you uh just so that it's that like i know it's now four four minutes and i know okay either it was either my pack was my coffee bed wasn't properly set or my coffee is slightly fine um because you want it to be like around three minutes something three minutes 30 seconds three minutes 40 seconds but this is like four minutes so i know okay it's taking a little bit longer i'm not saying it's not gonna be a bad coffee that's one like don't throw the coffee away enjoy it and then fix the mistakes next time you make coffee again so the whole idea of like no coffee is horrible it should be exactly three minutes no there is no perfect timing coffee is an organ and it changes so you you're never gonna be it's gonna be three minutes 40 seconds exactly perfect it does not work like that you know tomorrow 30 three minutes 20 seconds could taste better than three minutes 40 seconds or four minutes can also taste better so again this is the whole purpose you see you want to 
little bit of shake, you want an even bed, that's what you want, an even, you don't want to have a mountain. If, we, if you get a mountain, just at the last, just shake it a little bit, then goes back to, to flatten it out. So again, it's get perfect extraction consistency, guys. So that's basically it. I'm gonna clean the snobs. And then, I have my coffee. So again, if you have any questions, please hit me up and I will definitely share some recipes and ask you where to find them and just feel free to ask me questions. And yeah, subscribe, like, and share with the beautiful people. And amigos, hasta la vista. I'm out. Arrivederci. This is my third cup of coffee. I can feel it, I can feel it, I can feel it. So guys, sorry, it's a very uncomfortable position. So, mm, I can see the light. Eh?